they ask the question like this. It says, Cholav HaMakdashin, milk from sacrifices. Female sacrifice gives milk. And Beit Seitarin, and eggs from a bird sacrifice. Leinanen v'leimayalem. There's no me'ila on it. And his question is that why are you saying that the blood from the sacrifice there is me'ila? What's the difference the blood and the milk or the eggs? There's no me'ila on the milk or the eggs. Why is there me'ila on the blood? It's both the uh, production of the animal. Amalei kikam rinan lagavi dam. I was referring to dam, blood. Lei meskayem blay dam. It doesn't exist without blood. The animal doesn't exist without blood. Aval chalav, the kamakayim b'lei chalav, the animal can exist without milk. Lai, over there there's no mi'ila. So, the Gemara asks, Masav Rav Mesharshia. So Rav Mesharshia comes in. I don't think he's in the chat. He says, one second. Hazevel va perisha b'chatzer. The the um, excrement, the manure. That's there. Ain nen and ve ain myelin. There's no meal on it. Yipla de mel alishka. I don't know what it means, yipla de mel alishka. What are you supposed to do with it? Sell it? Yeah, it's, it's good fertilizer. I know, you said that. Someone said that. Yes. Okay. What's cool? You can just have, you know, say like we could do experiments. And compost. Yeah. So the problem is, why is there no meila on the manure? That's also um, the opposite. We're saying that it's impossible that it doesn't have manure. Right. So therefore, there should be meila. So it should be like the blood. The Gemara says, "Amai hachanami lemekayim bleib perish." It's impossible to exist without the digestion. So Amri, my area. He says, "What are you saying over here?" Adain perish min alma kasiila. The manure comes from the outside. Azila kasiila azil hai asiachrina. It it eats and it lets out uh, the excrement and then it uh, eats more and lets out more. Lafuki dam migufa. But the blood comes from itself. Any comments, doctor? Yeah. <laughs> blood is produced by the body, by the marrow. Yeah. Excrement is just the byproduct of whatever you take in. You know, uh-huh. the stuff that's not digested goes out. So it's not produced by the body. I mean, I mean that would be my first It is thing. sort of produced by the, or, the uh, organism. It's, uh, it's uh, I would call that a yeah. yeah. It's, it's yeah. filtered, it's kind of broken down. Yeah, yeah. yeah. but it, is, it started... Okay. I mean, it's a blood didn't production. start from something you wait. I mean, although I, well, I, in every, I mean, otherwise yeah, yeah. you're not alive, but the it's orange. produced the blood orange, from right? the it's beginning different. in the body with certain yeah. stuff. Blood orange. <laughs> well, blood orange is a good, yeah, California one because they're bigger. Interesting. Juicy. Okay. Hakatani Lainanavale Mayalin, the Dhamma Valisco, we were taught. That there's no mi'ila there on the parish, and its uh, its value goes to the the temple. Whenever the sages said mm-hmm. so it's it's uh, the value goes to the to the temple. You're not supposed to have personal kadosh so, kadosh. Is Lainan of Lainmaila. Okay. Mishnah says, now we quote this Mishnah that we just mentioned before, Chalav HaMakdash and the milk from sacrifices, of Beitzi Tarn and eggs from the birds, Lainan of Lainmaila. Ahmed of Aramamur, and when do we say that there's no Meila in the milk and in the eggs? That's because you Mizbeach. Because you consecrated an animal, and all of a sudden you're left with these other products. That wasn't part of the sacrifice. Avil b'kachi b'edek abayis. But if you consecrate it for its value, that the temple should have extra money. So so hikdish tanagoyl and moylem ba b'veit sasa. But if you consecrate a chicken, so you're going to a hen, 
So there's me'ila in the hen and also in the egg. Because that's not the sacrifice that's for the temple fun. Chamayra, me'ilam ba'av b'chalva. Even a donkey, if you consecrate a donkey, there would be me'ila in it and in its milk. I don't know who would, what we do with the milk of a donkey, but there's me'ila there. Because over there it's a value, it's not a sacrifice. By the sacrifice, we said there's no me'ila in the milk. But if it's consecrated for its value, there is. The Gemara says, one second. Elagabi mezbeach, ki akdusha kedusha stamim. Liyasbe me'ila. There's a problem over here. Because there's two ways of consecrating to the mezbeach. One way is you actually consecrate the animal. The other way is you consecrate money to buy animals. So we're asking, if someone consecrates to buy an animal, but what does he do to consecrate? He consecrates a bird to buy the animals. So then, in that case, there should be me'ila in the eggs as well, because over there, there is a value to it. And it, the way we put it is that kachim is beyach. So you can consecrate. Wow. You're going to be makish an animal to say that I'm going to sell this animal, and then with its dummy, go and buy yeah. another animal. Yeah. Does it automatically become kodesh? Here we're talking about that an easy way out that you're consecrating a chicken or something. That sounds like a legal tomorrow. Oh, yeah. That's weird. No, because you're only doing the money. You're only, you're only consecrating it. Uh... So Amar of Papa, of Papa says, We have to edit the Mishnah and, and read it like this. When do we say? That there's no me'ila keshek desh kedush zaguf l'gabi mezbeach when you consecrated the actual body of the sacrifice. Avale kedusha kedush es damim l'gabi mezbeach. But if you consecrate the value of it, so then nasek mishek desh lebedek abayas. Then it has the laws as if it was consecrated for the temple fund. And hikdesh tanagaylam ma'ilam ba'vitzasa. If you, you consecrated a hen. There would be me'ila in it and in its egg. In chamayra, ma'ilam ba'av b'chalbech. Was a donkey. There would be, there would be a me'ila um, in it and in the in the milk. Okay, let's leave it over here. So Rosh uh, Hashanah, they'll do your gimel your dalin, and um, I'll be back for the new parak as well on Wednesday. So Monday, Tuesday, now when. Monday, Tuesday is, uh, I believe, 8.30, because Shachas, I think, is 9.30. We have to ask uh,